Hey everybody, my name is Corey Kern and I would like to tell you about my experience with Katsu as a physical therapy doctor. Just to give you a little background on myself, I went to the University of Florida. I got a degree in applied physiology and kinesiology. I got out, I worked as a strength coach with the Philadelphia Phillies. I worked at WWE for a little while and then I decided to go back to school and I got my doctorate in physical therapy from the University of Central Florida. After that, I did a residency in orthopedics and passed a really hard test, became a board certified orthopedic clinical specialist. So all the train wrecks, I saw all these complex orthopedic cases, all these elderly with these difficult, complex orthopedic problems. So I got a DPT, I've got an OCS, I've got a CSCS. I took all the EXOS courses and I became an EXOS performance specialist. I've done it all, been around, I'm a big nerd. I love anatomy, I love body mechanics, I love movement, I love to work out, I just wanna feel good. I try to find the best way to get people stronger. I try to find the best treatment method. I stay true to the notion that you treat everyone like it's someone that you love, like it's your parent, like it's your wife, or someone, your kids, someone that you care about. Always treat patients with respect because you don't walk in their shoes. You don't know where they're from. You don't know what they're going through. So do the best you can. One day, a physician who is a friend of mine, he came to me and said, Hey, Corey, say you ever heard about Katsu? No, I haven't. I mean, I've been nose deep in books for years, and this is the first time anyone's ever said Katsu. What's Katsu? Isn't that something from a restaurant, right? No, 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 no. Katsu is a method, it's a system. It's a way to promote blood flow circulation in our limbs. It's a way to prevent muscle loss. It's a way to help the elderly walk better. So, whoa, whoa, where has this been? So, well, it's been in Japan and now it's coming out of Japan. It's finally come to America. It's across Europe and people are starting to use it, but we still don't really know how it fits into rehab. I said, okay. He says, I want you to take this thumb drive. There's a lot of research on it. I want you to look at it. I want you to go through all the research. I want you to tell me what your opinion is, Corey. I trust your opinion, so you tell me what you think. So I felt honored that a physician was coming to me, physical therapist, and said, hey, you know, he wants to hear what I have to say about Katsu. So, all right, so I, I read through the articles and I watched the videos and I, everything I said was great. There's gotta be a problem here. All these research articles, these case studies, these anecdotal stories, Everything's great. So where's the drawback? What's happening, you know, even, even running, people get hurt. So with this simple thing, there's only good stories. There's gotta be a catch. I feel like someone's trying to sell me something here. There's gotta be a catch. So I decided to do my own research. All these people are using it for cardiac rehab, uh, to improve uh, sarcopenia in the elderly. And I, you know, when I first saw the video where they put the bands on and so it's the blood flow in and out of the arms and the legs, you know, I said, well, I don't know, you know, like I like to play it safe. When you put bands on your arms, you know, there's all these questions going through my head. You know, I, I love anatomy, I love physiology, and when I hear something like this, you know, I, I try to find what's wrong. You know, why is this not being used? Where has this been? What, what's up? You know, where, where's the problem? You know, there are all these good stories, but where's the, wh what's up? You know, where's the catch? You know, it sounds too good to be true. You know, this, magical band that fills up with air and then it improves uh, strength in the elderly. It helps sarcopenia, it helps with blood flow, it helps all these kinds of things. Like, where, well, where has this been? Why isn't this being used? You know, I, I was confused. You know, so there's got to be a catch. There's, there's got to be something. There's got to be something that went wrong. You know, where, where is the problem? And so I looked, I dug and I dug and I dug. And I couldn't find anything, you know, all these research papers explaining about how, you know, the Katsu's great, and then all these other offshoots, and then turn into the whole BFR, the blood flow restriction, and you got all this stuff going on, and you start to wonder, like, are, are we doing something wrong here? Are we, are we missing something in rehabilitation? Where is the drop-off? I said, okay, I gotta try this on myself before I put it on my patients. I love my patients. I treat everyone with respect. I mean, I don't always get along with them, but I don't walk in their shoes. So I always try to keep in mind that I always wanna do the best thing I can for my patients and always keep them safe. So before I use this, I put it on myself. Just like a police officer and a taser. You gotta tase yourself before you can tase someone else so you know how it feels. So I started tasing myself with Katsu. And with the Katsu Cycle 2.0, it's very easy. It's in a little small box. 
pull it out, you put the bands on, it's simple, it's easy. I started noticing, I started getting leaner, I started losing a little bit of weight. My wife said, hey, you know, you look skinny. Have you been eating? I said, yeah, everything's the same. I haven't changed anything. I just started using this cat suit. My wife goes, well, what's cat suit? I said, well, let me show you. And so I showed her the videos. And even from someone who's not a physical therapist, she said, well, what's the catch? I said, babe, I'm trying to find it. I'm working on it. I couldn't. And so I got to know the company. I got to know the creator, Dr. Sato. And I got to know a little bit more about Katsu and the physiological response. I'm a physical anatomy biomechanic nerd. I like anatomy. I just like to feel good. I was always a fat kid when I was younger. and I was always trying to figure out how to get lean. I was a kid that wore a t-shirt in middle school at a pool party because I was too embarrassed of my jelly rolls. So I've always been at that point where I want to look good. I want to feel good. But I like ice cream, I like to eat, I like to enjoy life, I like food. I started leaning out on my muscles, the definition, everything was just, it was just improving. I got a little bit more focus, I just, I didn't understand what was going on. The best part about Katsu is that you can use it anywhere. You can take it with you. It's an adjunct to your rehab protocols. It's not anything different, it's not anything separate. You can do exactly what you do, but when you use katsu, it helps amplify it. It's kind of like a pressure cooker for exercise. It's like an instant pot. You know, instead of taking 30 minutes to cook a piece of chicken, you can cook that chicken in two minutes. It still tastes great. It's still the same chicken, but it was quicker. And that's the thing about katsu is you take your workout from zero to 100 quickly and easily, and it's safe. You start small and you gradually work your way up. Other devices here in America, they start high and they come down. But with Katsu, you start low. It's a slow and low progression. So when you go through, you start at the lower level and you slowly work your way into it. Now, because it's a cycle, it's like intermittent. It's not constant. You don't try to go full strength and then come back. You slowly, gradually work up. You get your body used to it so that your body doesn't have a bad response. It's slow, it's easy, it's awesome. You need to try it, check it out.